let's use our sample superstore and let's create a simple visualization that says, okay, I'll take a look at my different subcategories. What's the profit per subcategory? And maybe look at the region. Yeah, something like this. Okay, a simple visualization. Let's make it a bit more powerful by adding the profit to color to have something that looks like this. I now want to make sure I am able to filter the regions by right-clicking show filter and also the different segments. I'm just randomly taking a few um, dimensions. We all know from our experience, if you already had some experience with Tableau, that when you click on something or disable or select the filter option, it immediately shifts to that option and you don't really see anything changing. It just disappears immediately. It's no smooth animation. That's what's new in 2020.1 um, as well. If I go in my top menu to format, you'll see the option somewhere in the middle of the list called animations. You go for animations, you'll see that by default on the left side, this new window pops up. And then by default, it's being turned off. We can turn it on if we want to. Why would Tableau turn it off? That's probably a question some of you might have. Well, it's an additional element that has to be computed, let's say. It's additional computing power it needs to go for a smooth animation. So if you're already facing some performance issues within your Tableau desktop, or your computer is not powerful enough, then I wouldn't advise turning on animations. Um, but if we do, let's go for medium, for example. We can go for, um, is a webinar recorded is a question we are just getting in the chat. Yes, the webinar is recorded. Um, will we get a link to review again? Yes, at the end of the uh, presentation, I will also show you my email address. You can always, um, email me with a request for the uh, recording, but we're also publishing it on our website at a later point for you to review during your own time when you prefer. Um, so, okay, we've enabled our animations. It's medium slow or medium fast, however you look at it. And, okay, that looks good. Another chat question. It's the same chat question. Okay, um, so let's see how it changes. Let's change our corporate. As you can see, my computer is quite slow at this point, so it's not doing very much. Let's try to play with the region. You see an animation that is quite slow. So if I click on central again, you see it sliding from left to right. That's what these animations are doing right now. It's most likely because I'm running Windows as well, but I hope you see in a way that what that animations are different than before. So this is new from 2020.1 to make it sure that your user can somewhat follow the evolution of what is filtering or what is enabling or disabling. And it's more interestingly, I'd say when we uh, are looking at a dashboard, when you see multiple things changing, then it's going to be quite interesting to see uh, how it changed. Um, our animations, uh, boom, boom, boom. animations are also available on Tableau Server. That's correct. Adjustable via web edit. Um, that's a good question. I haven't tested it. I wouldn't say so. I don't think you can change um, the settings to web edit but I'm gonna show you something in WebEdit in a few minutes so we can definitely test it. Then the next question was, are animations rendered in the reader and server? Uh, definitely in server. In the reader? Well, Tableau Reader is quite a legacy product these days. So um, I'm not really sure. I presume a reader, if it has a, an update of 2020.1, that animations will be rendered there as well. I can't promise you that because I haven't used reader in ages myself, so you'll have to test it, I'm afraid. Uh, how to embed dashboards in a web page? Um, that is a question that actually was answered 
uh, last week. So the question is how to embed dashboards in a web page. We have a webinar um, that we ran last week on embedding, how you can embed it on your own website or in your, in your own applications. If you're interested, you can also reach out to us uh, after this webinar to request that recording as well. Is the data set available for use? Um, that's a question regarding the data set I'm using right now, I presume, this one. Um, this data set is actually something that is downloaded on your computer when you installed Tableau Desktop. As you can see, when you open Tableau, on the bottom left side, you should have saved data sources by default. I didn't create these myself. This is something that's available by default when you install Tableau, and one of them is Sample Superstore. A sample superstore, let's make this a bit more an extensive mini training then. Sample superstore is actually uh, the default data set Tableau always uses to demo everything. And if you go to my documents on your computer, you'll see the Tableau server created, um, there's Tableau server, sorry, Tableau created uh, something that is called my Tableau repository. If you click in that one, everyone should have something available. It looks a bit different when you have a, a Windows computer, of course. But if you go to My Documents, My Tableau Repository, you then go to Data Sources, you'll see all the versions you ever installed on your computer. If you go to the version, the latest version, for example, click in those files, you'll see the sample Superstore Excel file has been installed on this location by default. That's where you can find this data set as well. If you don't really know where to find your repository, you can always go to File, Repository Location in your menu as well, and then Tableau will bring you there directly. So a few ways, but this data set is located in there. I think those were all the questions for now. Okay, so that's what's, uh, that's one of the later or last new feature that we see in 